Hello and welcome to another short series of Diagnostic 80s reviews. I am Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80 from the Full Force Podcast, and I'm very happy to finally bring you a number of videos covering these final offerings from the G.I. Joe Collectors Club. I got my delivery earlier today and wasted no time in unboxing and filming so that I could show off these cool toys. I didn't end up getting the Night Stalkers, but only because the price was very high on this last run of product and something had to go. This particular video will focus on the Slaughter's Marauders from the Final 12, and as a disclaimer, I I won't be opening any of these because, well, you know how much they cost, right? Moving on to two figures that almost complete a sub-team now, Slaughter's Marauders to be exact, with the only notable absentee being Slaughter himself, and it's all down to contractual issues. What a shame. Anyway, here we have Barbecue. The original Slaughter's Marauders came out in 1989, and Beebs here was an original member alongside Footloose, Low Light, Mutton Junkyard, Spirit and Freedom, and the Sarge himself. Barbecue was the exact same figure as his original 85 release, but with this gorgeous Marauders blue, bright green, dark green and maroon colour scheme. I'm a big fan of these colours together, and when I first saw this deco I nearly lost my sh**. Unfortunately, it was in one of the promo inserts slash leaflets and not in the flesh, otherwise I'd have picked him up in a flash. I would pine over the inserts and leaflets promoting the figures and toys for hours, and Slaughter's Marauders was one of those teams we didn't get in the UK, so they were especially attractive to me. More on that in a second. Barbecue saw a very small amount of screen time in the Deke cartoon as a member of Slaughter's Marauders. The Sarge's new team was a main feature of the five-part Operation Dragonfire miniseries of which Low Light starred in throughout. Despite only being in a few scenes, Barbecue made it onto one of the DVD discs with some deco differences. To Barbecue now, and I'm not referring to the source. Although now I want a barbecue pizza. The card art is exactly the same as the original Slaughter's Marauders Beebs, with a possible touch-up on some of the colour details. The build is interesting as he has airtight arms, but reverts back to the 25th barbecue's legs. His backpack frame is grey with a removable silver water tank, and it even has that cute Slaughter's Marauders logo tampo on there too. Nice touch. Of course there's the hose and water gun attachment and the axe as well, solid. The bio is exactly the same as the original Slaughter's Marauders bio, so let's move on to low light. Now this guy has some history with me. In the UK we got low light in this deco, believe it or not. No Marauders branding, just randomly included in a wave of figures in 1991. There is a very slight deco difference to the original 89 US release, and you can really see it when they're next to each other. The blue and light green is a lot brighter, the figure was made in China so it has a stamp on the bum where the US does not, and the Euro version has unpainted rivets. With all that said, I'm counting this figure as another European exclusive homage. Thanks club. The the art is once again lifted from the original US art and the figure is unchanged from his other releases, including the BBTS 7-pack Slaughter's Marauders update deco style that Barbecue featured in as well. Their inclusion was one of the reasons that these two didn't appear in the Joe concept, but fan pressure pushed for a completed sub-team with the massive irony that without the Sarge, you can't actually complete it. The deco looks great on this version, but it does have to be said that they missed a bright green stripe of paint across the lower half of his jacket. Ah oh well, maybe they mocked it up and this looked better, who knows. He comes with his black backpack with some nice blue detailing on there as well as the Marauders logo tampo, his sniper rifle, an Uzi and a mobile phone or communicator. He is missing a lot of the accessories that his original came with, but has a few more pieces than the previous BBTS 7-pack version. Bio is the same as the original so let's move through. Glad to be almost completing the Marauders team, if only the Sarge could wrestle his way out of his own merchandising contract. Get it? Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my continued rundown of the final 12, which will be up shortly after this one, so keep it locked and sub to my channel. And always remember to put your enemies in a ditty bag. An itty bitty ditty bag.